Marcus Conti reporting again another day. Remember Gillette, Gillette yesterday, the uh, the Gillette the razor company is attacking men for not being men, manly enough. Well, here we go again. New York Post reporting. Half of New York women say they're victims of sexual harassment. <laughs> and look at the picture they put up. Oh, you want some of this, man? You want some of the fucking... I don't want any of that shit, man. I don't like any of that shit. Get your hand off me, you fucking pig, you motherfucker. Oh, you know you want it. You know you want it. You know you want it. Hey, get your fucking hands off my fucking bird. <laughs> Bullshit, right? How many people would do that in an office? I mean, come on. This is, this is ridiculous. Let's read the article. So... <sighs> Nearly half the women in New York State said they've been victims of sexual harassment. A new poll released Friday reveals. Who revealed? Who 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 did the poll? This is bullshit. This is bullshit. The Cian College survey found that 45 percent of women experienced sexual harassment at some point in their life, compared to 53 percent who have not. That's up from last year where 36% of women said they encountered sexual sexual harassment. So in a year, another extra another extra 15 or 20 out of 100. Oh, yeah, me too. Me too, right? Because that's the Me Too movement, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, me too. I, I've been sexual harassed. What's in it for me? Do I get, what do I get out of this? I get something, right? That's what's going on here, man. That is what's going on. Too many lights on. I gotta shut that shit off, man. Shut that shit off, man. <sighs> okay, cat, it's your turn. I'm feeling pretty good today. That's up from my okay. So about seventy percent of respondents respondents agree that sexual harassment, sexual harassment, and <laughs> is a significant problem in the workplace, including nearly three quarters of women and th- and two thirds of men. Come on, man. So where do we where do we stop this shit? It's speech. First Amendment speech. I think you're sexy. Man, you got a nice ass. Damn, I'd like to pound pound I'd like to romp that romper. Right? Right? Not in the workplace. I, I you know what I'm saying. I'm exaggerating it, but where do we stop? Do we eliminate now what are we gonna do? We we go for speech and then we outlaw dancing in a club where people go in and they mix and they mingle and they touch each other. And then, and, and, you know, an hour later, the woman comes in with two police officers saying, he touched me. I didn't ask him to touch me and he touched me. Because that's where we're coming to. That's what, that's where all this leads to, right? It's, it's psycho liberal pink pussy hat fucking craziness, man. About a third of all respondents said they were victims of sexual harassment, ranging from 26% in New York City to 40% upstate. Well, that's interesting. More upstate than in the city. And 15% of men who took the survey said they too were harassed. <laughs> Why do more than two-thirds of New Yorkers think sexual harassment is, is a significant problem? Question mark. That's a good question. Maybe it's because nearly one third of New Yorkers and almost half of all female New Yorkers say that they have been a victim of sexual harassment, said Sania Polster, Steve Greenberg. <laughs> Fucking Greenberg. The poll results from amid the poll results come amid a growing quote Me Too movement campaign against harassment and continuing reports about powerful men who've been exposed, shamed, and or prosecuted for mistreating women. Meanwhile, nearly two thirds of respondents said race relationships are are fair or poor in the state, while thirty five percent described them as being good or excellent. So now, so it's either now it's now because if you can't, if it's not sexual harassment, but wait, 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 I've been, I've been racially discriminated, racially harassed. So that's worse than last year. But in 2013, a majority of a majority of 54 percent had a positive view of race relationships in the city, in the in the state, unchanged from last year. 
68% of New Yorkers say ethnic and racial minorities experience discrimination, and 30% said they've been treated unfairly because of their race, ethnicity, gender, or sexual orientation. So it always comes down to the, the straight, white, male, older, they're the ones doing all the discriminating because everybody else is being discriminated against. So women, gay, uh, 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 ethnicity, uh, race, uh, uh, sexual orientation, right? Everybody but the... So again, it's just a victimization of the, the, the straight, white, male, right? Older. That's who's doing all the damage, right? Always. Three in ten New Yorkers include nearly half of black New Yorkers and more than one-third of Latino New Yorkers say they have personally been treated unfairly in the last year because of their race, ethnicity, gender, or sexual orientation. By who? By, by other blacks and Latinos? Or, of course, always it's, it's always the white guy, right? That seems to be the, the trend. Now, am, am I making it up? Am I exaggerating because I'm a white guy? No, it's just it's statistically true. That goes a long way to explaining why so many New Yorkers have a negative view about race relations in the state. Uh, this uh, Siena poll, college poll, was conducted uh, January 6th to 10th with 805 registered voters. It has a 4.1% margin of error. Yeah, right. So again, if there's a war between the sexes, right? That's what we. That's what the democratic strategy is. The Me Too movement, the lunatic left. They've got nothing left. They run on no policy whatsoever. Nothing for the people, other than it's all. Uh, it's all social st- degenerative social issues. Which bathroom you use? What's between your legs? Oh, you looked at me the wrong way. Oh, you touched my leg. I didn't ask you to touch my leg. Uh, oh, you're making eyes at me because you want to fuck me and I just want a job. It's, 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 it's a sick society that we're living in right now. When do we, when do we you know, when do we end this? You know, when does it, when does it come to a, a close? I, I don't know what, what more to say about it, but Marcus Conti reporting.